way. There's one of you for every family. For every branch of the family. It's all one family, really. Nigella Lawson lives in London with her children, Bruno and Mimi, and husband, Charles Saatchi. Marriage. Oh, marriage. Marriage is dissolved. No, no, that's modern life. Look, that's my granny. Where's my Estelle? That's my oh, grandpa. You looked at him seven. I don't know when it was. I think it must have been about the 70s. It could have been the 80s. Someone did a family tree. But, of course, I was given it when I was young. And, of course, the awful thing to say is I never really looked at it. Mum, why are there so many dates? Barnet Salmon. <laughs> <laughs> why are you laughing? <laughs> you think it's a funny name? <laughs> <laughs> why am I laughing as well? Great bad influence on me. You know, I feel that I'm curious, and I also feel slightly that it is quite odd that people have made so much effort in the family to trace the family back, and yet I've kind of acted as if it didn't exist. Nigella Lucy Lawson was born the third of four children in January 1960. Hers was a Jewish, though non-religious, family. Her father, Nigel, was a journalist who later became a cabinet minister. Her mother, Vanessa Salmon, died of cancer at the age of 48, when Nigella was in her mid-twenties. That's my father. That's my older brother, Dominic. <laughs> my mother. That's me. I rather love it because I kind of think, what a look my mother had there, how great it is. I love the sofa, I love the dress, I love the hairdo. I, I love it, really. <laughs> I think it is inevitable nice. if you are someone whose mother died young that you want to find out quite a lot about her or her family. You can't help that. On the other hand, I'm torn because I think my mother had a certain way of wanting to remodel herself romantically. She very much wanted to be a certain sort of person which maybe wouldn't focus on being a European Jewish refugee family coming from somewhere. Not that I think she would have hidden it, but I suspect she would not be at all happy about my doing this. Nigella's mother was an heiress, part of a family dynasty which owned a huge business empire. Of course, I come from catering stock, which is that my mother's family started lions. I suppose one of the things about coming from a Jewish family is that I think whatever kind of business you're in, food is always, you know, central. Vanessa's father, Felix, spent most of his adult life working for lions. So this is Felix, this is the famous Felix, I say famous, because he died when we were quite young. He's got some sort of mythical status, among us children anyway. And that was my grandmother, Rosemary. I'd love to know more about Felix. I, I feel my mother used to tell me certain things. I know that he, he loved art. I always felt that he was, if not an intellectual, certainly like reading. I think he was in commerce, because that's what he did, but I don't think it was his great love. I would like to find out more about him, if only because I say he seems to be such a, a figure, an absent figure in the family. Emma Stafford was born 10 years before it became a legal requirement to register births. So the only way John can discover who Emma's real parents were is if she was baptised. I don't know. Word Auschwitz. It's just... It does something to you, I tell you. It's, 